Hello and welcome again to FineTutor.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how we can design an animated advertising billboard in Photoshop. So this is what you can see is the final result of our tutorial tutorial. We are going to design this in our tutorial tutorial. So what we have to do is first of all, we have to create a new document. So just go to file menu and click new. Set the width to 1000 pixels and height to 800 pixels resolution to 72 dpi and background to white and click ok so here it is now we will create a new layer using this button the shortcut button for new creating new layer picking the gradient tool from the tool palette right click on gradient tool and select the paint bucket tool from the color picker just pick the light blue color from the color picker and click on your canvas to apply the color Again, we will create a new layer over here using this button. Selecting the marquee tool, rectangular marquee tool from the tool palette. We will draw some rectangles like this over here. Pick color and this time we will pick some dark blue color. Actually, we are creating uh, some building stuff over there. Again, select the marquee tool. And we will create another selection like this over here. Fill it with the dark color again. Again, using the marquee tool, and we will select this and just make selection to give a building look over here. Like we are standing on some city, or like the billboard is placing at some city area. So, we will using the rectangular tool create some building shapes over here. using only one dark blue color to fill all these layers we will just use rectangular marker tool to draw and uh, paint bucket tool to fill the drawn area here you can use your own creativity to design the buildings Again, I will pick the paint bucket tool. Again, rectangular marker tool to drag and draw some other shape. Paint bucket tool, fill the color. Again, the same step. Rectangular marker tool over here again. Paint bucket tool again, filled with the same color. Rectangular marker tool. But this time, we will draw some round angle or rounded edges shape so to do that we will pick some other tool like shape tool and over here we will pick the rectangular round edge rectangle and we will draw a rounded edge rectangle like this over here the color is filled automatically as we have already chosen the blue color to be filled within it I'll just fill the missing area over here we will create one more building over there using the round edge rectangular tool it is basically a shape tool which can draw easily shapes so you don't have to use the rectangular marker tools just pick the shape tool and draw shapes like this over here now here we are now next step what we do is we will put all these layers all these shape layers in one group you can see there are different layers 
here the, in the layers are we will now put all these layer in one group so I will just click on layer one by one using control key to select all layers and just click on here and just from here I will click on new group and I will name the group as building now I will select all the layers and drag the layers in my building group the remaining layer also so now if you can you can see you can easily hide or unhide these layers we will create new layer here using basically we are going to create clouds over here so using mar circular marquee tool we will draw a shape like this over here now we will select the second option that is add shape tool this will automatically add new shape to it so we can add some clouds over here like this basically we are design giving a clouds look behind our building area so using circular marquee tool with the second option that is add shape tool from the tool palette we will draw shapes of clouds like this over here So using the rectangular marquee, uh, sorry, using the circular marquee tool, you can draw some shapes like this over here, giving a cloud look to the viewers. So once you are done, we will fill these area with some black or black to white or light gray to white color, and giving a perfect look of the clouds. So once you are done, just we will right click on the paint bucket tool, select the gradient tool. From the gradient bar, we will pick the dark to some other color. And first of all, we will pick the white color. Then on the other end, we will choose uh, some dark gray color or light gray color. Click OK. Now we will apply the gradient over here. So as you see, uh, this doesn't differentiate much. So we will just press Ctrl Z to undo that. But now we will just again double click on the layer properties and over here we will select some dark gray color from this again i will apply this oh this is much brighter much darker so we will again double click on the layer properties or just select the gradient tool and we will this time pick the light color apply the color so this is much better we will just make the right direction of the gradient tool just apply in any direction you want or you think that it suits the best now I will drag this layer behind my building layer so that it can get back and we can easily look the buildings so here we are now you can see clouds behind building it is giving us a perfect look of a city so I will continue this tutorial in the second part